study and getting the knowledge here, you know, and transferring it back to the community is just a way of saving people's lives, you know. Saving people's lives doesn't mean that someone is going to die in your saving. No, no, no. Somebody might be in a very hard, hard situation, but due to my knowledge, I can help him. You are now a part of a graduate network that spans across the globe. Make sure you leverage it and connect with your fellow alumni. When you're out in the industry, it doesn't matter what year you graduated. It doesn't matter how old you are. Because when it comes out to the industry and we're networking with each other, we can all have like-minded skills. When it's a no-brainer and, and, and it's in your blood and it burns and it's, um, it's what you know and it's what you love and you wake up in the morning and you think about it and you, you just have to do it at, at all costs. You do it. You're unstoppable at it. I encourage you to keep persevering, don't give up and have fun along the way. I did. <laughs>
fulfilled our part of the commitment. Teaching, now students stayed in the process and continued learning. Torrance University is proudly a university for the future and of the future. And that means that we consistently ask ourselves the question, what is the impact of COVID? What is the impact of the fourth industrial revolution? What is happening in the world of technology and what's happening in the world of work? How did COVID change our society? What is it that our students will have to understand, will have to master to be able to be effective in this changing world? It's not a changed world. It is just changing faster at the moment. And therefore, by committing ourselves to be a university of the future, we accept the responsibility to remain active, to connect the world for good. That's our vision. That says that through our research, we will continue to try to understand the world in a better way. Based on our understanding, we will make sure that we provide the best possible education for our students to prepare them for this world of work to go out there and assist in the process of supporting, building, developing society. But to get to that point and to achieve that, it's critical that we must make sure that we are guided by very clear values. In other words, that our direction is very clear and that we can keep ourselves honest in terms of what we do. Therefore, we say that people is our business. We begin and end with people. We respect people. We support people. We want to make sure that we make a contribution to the improvement of the lives of people. We want to be good and we want to make sure that everything we do, we test that against the values of honesty, of integrity, etc. And we want to be bold. So we say we are willing to take the risk we are willing to confront some of these challenges. And of course, if you're bold and you don't know where you're going, you're in trouble. So therefore, by being bold, we are committed to be creative. So if we confront something, we must be ready to prepare the alternative and a better opportunity. And we, we are committed to that. Of course, people must be well, and we want to must look after each other and support each other. And then we live in a global world. We cannot ignore the fact that our students will be working across the world. Our staff must engage across the world. We must understand the whole world in order to provide education and do research that makes a difference. A testament to our for good values. In other words, our commitment to make that contribution and action is the Blue Mountains International Hotel Management School's 18 years of continuous support of the Salabai Hotel School in Cambodia. It also gives me great pleasure to welcome the Salabai Hotel School's director, Mr. Reno Fischet, to today's graduation and to Torrance University. It is a, an honor for us to, to host you, sir, and to have you here with us today. In essence, we are here because we have our graduates here. You are the people that lived the values. You are the people that met the challenge and that became successful because of the consistent focus on being good and do what you're supposed to do. So today's ceremony, we reflect on all the hard work and all the sacrifices and all the things you do, but let's not stop there. Unfortunately, life works that way. If you achieve one milestone, the question is, so what are you going to do tomorrow? So by being here today, getting recognition today, we are actually confirming your responsibility to immediately ask the question about tomorrow. To immediately ask the question about what am I going to do tomorrow with what I've learned and what I gained and what I developed? What is my responsibility? And I'm using the word responsibility. Because if we are privileged and blessed enough to have these opportunities, 
we have a responsibility to go out and share that, to use that again to make a difference, to connect the world for good, to make a positive impact in the lives of people. So our challenge today is, on the one hand, well done. On the other hand, remember, lifelong learning and lifelong serving starts today. We must acknowledge the support that the, of families, support structures, friends, to our students. We all know that it's not possible for students to be successful if they do not have support structures. And we know that families <clears throat> and support structures sacrifice. And they do a lot of things to enable and support students to become successful. Thank you very much for sharing your families and children and so on with us and the partnership that we could have had in supporting our students to become successful. It is now my great pleasure to welcome our guest speaker for today. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here with you today. Congratulations, graduates. What an exciting day. Uh, as a begin, I too would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that we're meeting here on today and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging as well as acknowledging any of our First Nations leaders that might be here with us in the room today. It's such a distinct privilege to get the opportunity to speak at a graduation and I thought back to my graduation not all that long ago, I like to tell myself at least, uh, and what I wish I would have known then and I thought I might share a couple of bits uh, of advice as an invitation to think about as you um, start to contemplate, or many of you might be further along in that, what uh, Beyond These Doors holds for you. I'd also like to just acknowledge all the faculty here on stage and thank all the distinguished guests, as well as acknowledging the wonderful family and friends who've played such a key role in helping all of our graduates get to this moment. Can we have a round of applause for all the family and friends that <laughs> helped make it happen? All too often, the unsung heroes, I think, of uh, major accomplishments, so important to, to shout out. Um, there are a couple of bits of advice I wanted to share and, and some of them might seem a little un unconventional but the first one uh, is the idea that the single most important habit that I believe future leaders can be building is to start getting comfortable being uncomfortable. No one can get up on this stage and tell you that with any conviction that they know exactly what the future will look like but one thing that we know for certain is that change is a constant the complexity is not going to calm down anytime soon. We're going to be dealing with uncertainty for the lifetime of our leadership. And so the importance of starting to get comfortable being uncomfortable is absolutely paramount. I learnt this lesson in perhaps an unusual way. I read a quote in a book a few years ago and I immediately called my best friend. And I hope that all of you have a friend like this, one of those friends who's silly enough when you call them and say, hey, I've got a great idea to say awesome I'm in before you tell them what the idea is. My best friend made this mistake and I said, I've just read this line that says, it's the things that we're afraid of that we most need to do. He said, what's your point? I said, how about we guinea pig that idea? How about every day for 365 days we do something we're afraid of? And he said, I'm in. And so we embarked on a year of fear where we did exactly that. Every day for 365 days we did something we were afraid of. Now, it took about three months before we told a soul that we were doing this challenge. Because we thought, firstly, they're all going to think we're a little bit crazy, or perhaps worse, they're going to ask us about the sort of things that we're doing that uh, we're afraid of. And that felt very vulnerable, as it often does when we talk about fear and things that are uncertain and challenging for us. And what was interesting when we finally shared we were doing this challenge is everyone put their hand up and asked the same question. How do you have enough stuff you're afraid of? I don't know if that's something some of you are wondering in the room today. One of the things I found really interesting was that we felt like we had this never-ending list and there was this disconnect between the people that were asking that question and the how we felt about fear and uncertainty. And the thing that became really apparent in our conversations and our journey subsequent to that is that we've desensitised to the way that fear often shows up in our lives. Uh, we think about fear like going and swimming with sharks, jumping out the side of a plane, going and uh, having to confront a redback spider. Now these might well be fears, but they are unlikely to be the fears that are getting between you and your goals and career aspirations. If they are, I'm really eager to hear what you do for a living, so please come find me afterwards. 
<laughs> one of the things that I think is really critical is this idea that we resensitize to fear. I can talk through that whole year and I can tell you that fear looked a lot less like swimming with sharks and a lot more about learning to give voice to new ideas. It looked like learning to say no and put healthy boundaries up. It looked like being prepared to be a beginner and have a go at things that were different and start again and try again, which becomes all the more harder as we become all the more expert. I challenge you to continually come back and ask yourself that question with where I am right now and where I want to be. What are the things that I know I've got to get on, go on a journey to get comfortable being uncomfortable around? Where do I have to start going and building this muscle? You don't have to do it every day, but make a commitment to step outside of your comfort zone and into your courage zone. Einstein said it best when he said the definition of insanity is thinking we can keep standing exactly where we are, doing exactly what we're doing, and get a fundamentally different result. So keep pushing beyond and stepping into your courage zone. The second bit of advice was probably one of the most powerful ones I got around about uh, your age and stage of life. When I was uh, in my late teens, early 20s, while I was at university, I started my first business. And I was very fortunate uh, to go to an event one day where about 200 business people were at this event. In my brain, as a, at that age and stage of life, I thought, well, I don't really know enough about business. So how about I go to a business event and hopefully by being around a whole bunch of business people, I'll learn by osmosis what it takes to be successful in business. Simple idea. Uh, didn't turn out quite the way I'd planned. Uh, I went to an event with about 200 people and I think only two people at that whole event spoke to me. And they're both in my life today. And I say that because some of you will probably have those experiences where you walk into rooms and you look a little bit different to who it might be that occupies it. Uh, I encourage you to walk into those rooms anyway, and I encourage you to be bold enough to stay and to strike up conversation. Uh, one of the people who struck up conversation with me that day uh, was a man by the name of John. John was a really seasoned businessman, and he took me under his wing, and he became my earliest mentor in my business career. And he had a particularly unconventional way of teaching. Uh, he came to a cafe where we were meeting one day, sitting down for a coffee, and he slammed a dice a dice you would use to play a board game, down in the middle of the table. And he said, what can you see? And I thought, oh gosh, where are we going today? Well, it's this unconventional lesson he's about to embark. And I said, I can see a dice. He said, be more specific. And I said, I can see a one. He said, I can see a six. Which one of us is right? I thought, hmm, okay, where's he going with this? And I said, well, we're both right. I said, exactly. One of the most important lessons that I can share with you and teach you early in your career is that we only ever have one perspective, one side of the dice in view. Your job, if you're going to be a really great leader, is to actively work to make sure you glean as many different perspectives around that dice as you can before you make a decision. Think about what am I missing? Where are my blind spots? Who haven't I asked? Whose perspectives might I need consider here? I can't encourage this enough, having worked so many times and observed so many leaders where simple uh, widening of the lens would have saved all manner of failure and challenge from being stepped into in the first place. But he also had a second point that I think is really, was really critical for me to hear as a young leader in that moment. He also said, make sure that you don't discount your own perspective just because there are others. Don't think that yours means any less just by virtue of the fact that there are other sides of the dice. Continue to make sure you find ways to step up, share what you're talking about, um, and, and spread that to a broader audience and ensure that it's heard. There's an adage that's gone around for a long time in psychology that says you're the average of the five people you spend the most time around. I first heard that at about 19 and I had a minor panic attack, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thought I need to change up who I'm hanging around which is more a reflection for another time. But the reason I do share that is because I truly think the hallmark of great leaders in the generation ahead is going to be the diversity of the people they spend the most time around. And there are four people I'd encourage you early in your career to seek out and cultivate as part of your dice, as part of the five people you spend the most time around. Firstly, make sure you've got a supporter, a cheer squad member, someone who can circuit break that negative self-talk, can cut through in those moments where you're challenged and you feel like your back's up against the wall. Those people are critical and you'll need them over the journey ahead. Make sure you are that for others and make sure you've got those people for you. The second, make sure you get some sages, some people who've been there before, bought the t-shirt, know how to share and talk you through what it is that you're trying to do. 
Seek out people who've got lived experience and are examples of the sort of impact and career that you want to have. You'd be surprised how willing those people are to give of their time and their insights to help and assist you on your own journey. Thirdly, make sure you find sponsors. One of the things I've learned, whether it's leading the G20 Youth Summit uh, or leading organisational transformations, is more often than not the decisions that are made about your career promotion, the idea that you're really passionate about, they're going to take place in a room that you're not even in at a time where you're not even aware the conversation's going on. In those moments, you need people who are going to back you in, who are going to step up and say, absolutely, give her a go, give him a go, give them a go, whatever that might look like. Absolutely, they're deserving of this promotion, this opportunity. Make sure you find people who believe in you and can go into bat for you uh, in the way that you want them to for opportunities and things that you care about. And finally, and I think importantly in this day and age, make sure you find a sparring partner. Make sure you find someone who disagrees with you, who challenges the way that you think. There was a, a report released by Edelman earlier this year that says 65% of Australians don't believe we can have a conversation about topics we disagree on. That will get us nowhere if we re retreat further into echo chambers and harden and calcify in our respective viewpoints. We need to be able to challenge constructively. We need to be able to debate. We need to find people who are going to help refine and challenge our ideas so we can end up with a better end game. So make sure you find your sparring partners. Finally, uh, I want to encourage you to volunteer. Uh, I love this saying that my grandma used to say to me all the time, if service is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. And I think there's something so true about that. We all should be in service of others and we should all be thinking about how our capabilities, talents and ideas are applied for the betterment of others. I also think that one of the best ways to test your capability and to apply your ideas is in service. I spent all of my teens and 20s and to this day remain involved in several non-profit organisations. But particularly while I was at university and studying, it became my playground. It became my experiment. It became, let me test these things I'm reading about in the books. Let me test these ideas we've been working on in the classroom that I've been learning about and reading about and writing assignments on and see if they can work in a real world context. How do I take what we've learned, collaborate with others and see if we can bring something really meaningful and significant to life? There are so many phenomenal organisations out there who would grab the opportunity to have your passion and skill and put it to work in the name of something that's much bigger than all of us. Make sure you find that cause, and if I can encourage you, don't let that be something you think about doing after you've achieved maturity in your career or when you've decided to hang up the boots and retire later in life. This can be one of the most extraordinary ways that you develop and evolve your career too. Through volunteering, I've built microfinance projects in Africa, I've addressed the UN, I've had the opportunity to speak to heads of state all around the world, to lead organisational change at a community level and inside large organisations. I have failed, I have succeeded, I have met some of the most extraordinary individuals uh, who I'm so privileged to call friends and mentors and colleagues and I wish that for you. So I'm, please, can I, if I encourage you to do nothing today, think about how you go to work in service of something bigger than you in collaboration with others. I wanna leave it there and wish you nothing but success with the next chapter as you move beyond. Today is a remarkable achievement that you should be so proud of arriving at. I look forward to cheering you all on as you get up here in a moment to receive your official certificates. Take a moment to drink it in. There aren't too many moments in this life where you get to really take stock of what is um, an iceberg moment, that bit above the water that embodies so much beneath, all those hours of study, all those many, many um, you know, sleepless nights of pulling last minute efforts on assignments, all those group efforts to get something over the line, all those challenges to understand tough concepts. You're here, you made it, well done and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, such an inspirational speech for all of our students here today, and I'm sure they will take away those messages with, with their heart. I now hand over to the conferral of our degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to certify 
that the candidates present and those listed as in absentia have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for the award of their degrees, diplomas and certificates and are entitled to be admitted to the rank, privileges and responsibilities of those awards. Will the graduands who have qualified for the various awards please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the governing board of Torrens University Australia, I confer the degrees, diplomas and certificates to which you and those listed as in absentia have qualified. Congratulations. Marissa Adamson, Diploma of Travel and Tourism. Monik Jane Uggerwall, Master of Global Project Management, Advanced. Parth Uggerwall, Bachelor of Business. Silvana Alexander, Diploma of Health Science. Facundo Gonzalo Alvarez Paniza, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Grace Armstrong, Diploma of Health Science. Artie, Diploma of Nursing. Laura S. Lynn, Diploma of Health Science. Luckman Opayamiayula, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Michael Bakskowski, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Jimming Bai, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Nina Baldwin, Graduate Certificate of Global Project Management. Ridwan Albana, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Han Ming Bao, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Bent Kaur, Master of Business Information Systems. Sunila Bijik, Bachelor of Interior Design, Commercial. Cassandra Bella, Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills. Nitish Bhargava, Master of Global Project Management. Justin Bien, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Monsi Brombot, Master of Business Information Systems. Emily Bucknell, Bachelor of Communication Design. Rabi Ahmed Bouch. Master of Engineering Management. Sayin Bayan, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Jacob Byrne, Bachelor of Health Science, Naturopathy. Samantha Kane, Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills. Natalie Camilleri, Diploma of Graphic Design. Xinyue Chao, Bachelor of Business. Xinyue Chao, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Ripal Dravkumar Chaudhary, Master of Engineering Management. Tian Che, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Yi Che, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Pascaline Chebet, Master of Business Information Systems. Jiayu Chen, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Wen Hao Chen, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Yong Ching Chen, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Ye Ye Chen, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Hu Hu Han Chu, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Cheng Man Choi, 
Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Arpit Chopra, Bachelor of Commerce. Zoe Sisexy, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Jessica Cleary, Bachelor of Applied Business, Marketing. Celeste Clements, Diploma of Applied Business, Marketing. Joseph Costa, Master of Business Administration, Sports Management. Sherry Cotter, Diploma of Graphic Design. Jody Daruka, Bachelor of Design. Damian Davis, Diploma of Graphic Design. Josefina de Operais Botas, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Kesta de Brouwer Chrome, Diploma of Graphic Design. Christian de Cox, Bachelor of Health Science, Chinese Medicine. Renata de Jesus Alves, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Priya Rani, Master of Business Information Systems. Mashina Diaz, Diploma of Event Management. Pegang Ding, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. T. Hong Nam Du, Graduate Certificate of Public Health. Matthew Doldig, Master of Business Administration, Sports Management. Aneo Ephilum, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Chema Elba, Diploma of Health Science. Nisreen El Salim, Diploma of Travel and Tourism. Caitlin Emery, Diploma of Nutrition. Muhammad Harsaya Fabiancia, Diploma of Marketing. Rodrigo Ferreira Garcia, Master of Business Administration. Liesel Ferreira, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Pele Fine Sun, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Sini Fu, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Morgan Query, Master of Business Administration, Innovation and Leadership. Shanice Gabriel, Bachelor of Applied Entrepreneurship. Diego Gandra Ferreira, Master of Professional Accounting, Advanced. Yeni Garcon Rodriguez, Bachelor of Health Science, Naturopathy. Jean Ka Young Goddard, Bachelor of Business. Emma Gourlay, Diploma of Branded Fashion Design. Marissa Grayson, Graduate Certificate in UX and Web Design. Lazarus Gremos, Master of Business Administration, Sports Management. Yiding Gu, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Ishara Gunawardane, Diploma of Graphic Design. Shivani Gupta, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Sonam Garum, Diploma of Nursing. Rachel Hamilton, Master of Education, Reading and Literacy. Jasmine Hansen, Diploma of Beauty and Spa Practice. Jared Harvey, Bachelor of Health Science, Chinese Medicine. Hine Johanna Hang, Graduate Certificate of Education, Innovation and Change. Emily Hopner, Diploma of Health Science. Christina Hook, Diploma of Business. Richard Houlihan, Graduate Certificate in UX and Web Design. Vivian Huynh, Diploma of Design.
Lincoln Hyde, Diploma of Software Engineering. Fatima Adepeju Ibrahim Garuba, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Bidila Kanyu, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Yuka Iwasaki, Master of Business Administration Graduate Diploma of Business Administration. Kimberly Jackson, Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills. Sajad Jaffer, Master of Business Information Systems. Rhea Jain, Bachelor of Design. Rihanna Jantz Van Rensburg, Diploma of Health Science. Nidhi Janveja, Master of Professional Accounting, Advanced. Christo Joseph, Master of Business Information Systems. Sarah Jeet Kaur Simran Singh Kolra, Bachelor of Design. Yashvant Reddy Katpali, Master of Business Information Systems. Gurpreet Kaur, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Tejasvi Kotnala, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Lisa Kariki, Diploma of Health Science. Jiyun Lee, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Ching Lee, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Zoe Lee, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Zhuomo Lee, Master of International Hotel Management. Jean Wei Lin, Bachelor of Interior Design, Commercial. Yamung Lin, Bachelor of Business. Matthew Magistro, Graduate Certificate of Applied Business, Innovation and Leadership. Elizabeth Marr, Bachelor of Applied Social Science, Counseling. Natasha Melissa, Diploma of Graphic Design. Navdeep Kaur, Master of Business Information Systems. Manjinder Singh, Master of Business Information Systems. Maria Manos, Bachelor of Applied Business, Management. Tanvi Shakti Mather, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Paisley McAnally, Diploma of Health Science. Leslie McCowett, Diploma of Business. Karina McFadson, Bachelor of Business, Event Management. Priscilla Miranda, Master of Professional Accounting, Advanced. Monica Mithin, Bachelor of Health Science, Naturopathy. Patrick Moran, Diploma of Event Management. Srimavasa Rao Mundra, Master of Business Information Systems. Nihaven Harsik by Nananiya, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Abdul Naveed Khan, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Jody Nettle Phillips, Bachelor of Health Science, Aesthetics. The Viet Win, Master of International Hotel Management. Ti Hai Yen Win, Diploma of Business. Ti Van On Win, Diploma of Health Science. Dean Nixon, Bachelor of Applied Business Management. Chioma Marthan Wonkwo, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Obianoju Stephanie Nui, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Ifian Wenwuka Ogbodo, Graduate Diploma of Business Information Systems. Chucks Henry Okwagwu, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. 
Sally O'Neill, Bachelor of Nutrition. Lyndon Gozi Ani Amekara, Graduate Certificate of Public Health. Nkem Mary Anya, Graduate Certificate of Business Administration. Natasha O'Toole, Diploma of Game Design and Development. Havneet Panu, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Rebecca Paris Givas, Master of Education, Reading and Literacy. Norma Morpardo, Associate Degree of Culinary Management. Alicia Part, Associate Degree of Communication Design. Analaban Sakinkamar Patel, Master of Business Information Systems. Ashish Kumar Babubai Patel, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Krinal Radalal Patel, Master of Business Information Systems. Mayankumar Shailshbai Patel, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Nishith Kumar Jagdishlal Patel, Master of Engineering Management. Mackenzie Pierce Casey, Diploma of Travel and Tourism. Rajat Mahesh by Pedhadia, Master of Business Administration, Sports Management, Advanced. Hong and Hung Pham, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Marie Pierre, Diploma of Health Science. Lakshmi Kusumasanthi Pilla, Master of Business Information Systems. Anuja Pakaral Regmi, Master of Business Information Systems. Angela Cristina Poloche Barbosa, Diploma of Health Science. Sravan Joseph Shoredi Pothardi, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Shanae Purcell, Bachelor of Business Diploma of Branded Fashion Design. Heather Quinn, Graduate Certificate of Counseling. Razif Razak, Master of Business Information Systems. Nargis Richards, Graduate Diploma of Counseling. Candace Roberts, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Sergio Fernando Rodriguez Mello, Master of Global Project Management. Naomi Saba, Diploma of Branded Fashion Design. Jesse Schmid, Bachelor of Health Science, Aesthetics. Alejandra Segan Kerr, Master of Global Project Management, Advanced. John P. J. Shaw, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Vivekumar Bharat Shah, Master of Business Information Systems. Azharuddin Sheikh, Master of Business Information Systems. Shalina Punjani, Master of Business Information Systems. Rahul Kumar Sharma, Master of Engineering Management. Harmanpreet Singh, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Nicole Shepard, Associate Degree of Business, Tourism Management. Marnie Shires, Bachelor of Interior Design, Residential. Leisha Shresta, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Sitsenka Sid, Master of Business Administration and Master of Public Health. Kathleen Simpson, Diploma of Health Science. Vikram Singh, Master of Business Information Systems. Kamalpreet Singh, Master of Business Administration, Advanced. Camilla Smith, Diploma of Nutrition. Madeline Spotton. Bachelor of Health Science, Naturopathy. Jessica Spence, Master of Counseling. 
Catherine Steele, Master of Business Administration, Innovation and Leadership. Rhiannon Stewart, Diploma of Health Science. Zihan Sun, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Akash Deep Sunuwar, Master of Engineering Management. Lakhan Agarwal Surya Prakash, Bachelor of Commerce. Monica Dewi Suteja, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Mark Swain, Master of Business Administration, Innovation and Leadership. Freedom Raj Tamang, Master of International Hotel Management. Sheen Rue Tang, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Tawanprit Kaur, Master of Public Health, Advanced. Samuel Taylor, Bachelor of Communication Design. Rochelle Tedstone, Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills. Kendall Thomas, Diploma of Counseling and Communication Skills. Shravanti Thumma, Master of Business Information Systems. Rohan Titus, Diploma of Software Engineering. Hao Tong, Bachelor of Commerce. Kim On Tran, Bachelor of Business. Glenn Tully, Master of Business Administration, Innovation and Leadership. Hardison Gopalsan Vagala, Master of Business Information Systems. Jamie Vasallo, Bachelor of Business, Event Management. Luciana Virgil Osorio, Bachelor of Business, Entrepreneurship. Manish Varma, Master of Professional Accounting, Advanced. Nirmaljeet Singh Virk, Master of Business Information Systems. Sarah Volpe, Bachelor of 3D Design and Animation. Siki Wang, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Zijuan Wang, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Nicole Ward, Diploma of Health Science. Chun Wei, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Yi Chen Wei, Master of International Hotel Management. Christopher Westman, Master of Business Administration, Innovation and Leadership. Holly Wignall, Diploma of Graphic Design. Zoe Wilde, Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration. Tegan Wilson, Diploma of Health Science. Matt Winter, Diploma of Health Science. Roxina Yasmin, Master of Global Project Management, Advanced. Long E, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Yu Han Ng, Bachelor of Business, Entrepreneurship. Nadira Yusra, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Nadia Yusra, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Randy Zambrano Carbo, Graduate Certificate of Counseling. Nora Adini Zander, Bachelor of Interior Design, Commercial. Jinghai Zhang, Bachelor of Interior Design, Commercial. Han Bing Zhao, Bachelor of Business, International Hotel and Resort Management. Sini Zhou, Graduate Certificate in UX and Web Design. Ilay Zhou, Graduate Diploma of Business Administration. 
Jonathan Ostrowski, Master of Business Administration, International Hotel Leadership. Congratulations to all of our graduates today. You've done a fantastic job to, to be here at this point. Um, I would love to welcome next your uh, graduate speaker for this event. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Um, I would like to start by congratulating every single graduate here tonight. So as you know, my name is Nicole Devera. I started my Bachelor of Nursing degree with Torrance University in late 2019. Before that, I was an enrolled nurse working in the community while raising my four kids with my husband. I grew up, with, I grew up in a family full of nurses and my love for nursing started when I was 10 years old. Entering university as a mature age student, I had my doubts. I questioned whether I would be able to handle studying while raising my kids and working at the same time. Yes, it's challenging, but I chose to accept the challenge and be an example to my kids and other mature age students that are in the same situation as me. And what I've learned is it is never too late to study and reach your goal. I thought that trying to juggle my time between work, kids, and studying was the only challenge, but I was wrong. COVID entered our lives and made it impossible to continue. Our classes were moved online and placements and lab practicals were postponed. Working and studying in the midst of a pandemic, let alone being in one to begin with, is a new and strange situation. Just before lockdown hit us, I specifically remember the day we were at campus and I received a phone call that I got hired to work for the coronavirus hotline. I took the job. At the beginning, we were receiving around 35,000 calls a day. As soon as I hung up, another phone call would come and every single, every single person I spoke to on, on the other line were people who were terif terrified. I was terrified. We didn't know anything about this virus and how deadly it was. People's lives were put in a pause. So much was happening at once. And while I was working in the coronavirus hotline, I was applying the knowledge we were studying and learning in class in a real life situation. With all the training providing, as well as a world-class education I was receiving at Torrance University, I felt confident and ready to help those in need. I felt the purpose of why I decided to go back to study. Why I wanted to be a nurse, it's because of the people. Nursing is not just a type of job, it's an extraordinary line of work. To be able to care and change the lives of people who are most vulnerable and to make them feel safe while they are sick is an exceedingly rewarding feeling to give to another human being. In 2020, the World Health Organization declared it was the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife. We saw how much COVID impacted our healthcare workers working endless hours in the front line. We often meet under difficult circumstances as we always find, to find a way to overcome those hard situations. We may lose our patience at times and we go through grief because we have dedicated ourselves to caring for those vulnerable people and we often forget to take care of ourselves. It becomes too much and handle, and too much to handle, and we give up. But I want to remind everyone here today, although our journey has been tough, there is no better feeling other than the satisfaction of holding that nursing diploma and having that fulfillment of being able to, being able to help and change lives of other people. As we graduate today, I stand here with all my fellow graduates with pride and how, I, how proud I am we have come all this far and how we have overcome all the obstacles that came along the way. To my fellow health graduates, we are the new fa faces of healthcare. To all the other graduates from all other disciplines, you too are the next generation in your fields and I have no doubt you will succeed. We, all of us, are the future. We are part of history, the ones that studied in the midst of 
of a pandemic and still survived our degree. Remember this day, graduating is not the end, but a beginning of our new journey and our, of our lives, and I am excited and looking forward for new challenges. I will also take with me the knowledge acquired from Torrance University that will surely help me succeed in the future. I want to thank Andrea and Terry for not only teaching me, but also supporting me when times were tough throughout my studies. They have been great mentors, and I will always remember them in my nursing career. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to all the graduates here tonight. Thank you so much for that wonderfully inspiring speech. I'm sure everyone got something really important out of that. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce Professor Helmut Luckenhausen to close this ceremony. Well, colleagues, here we are at the end of another ceremony. And we look back and think that our university was founded in 2013. How little time that is for us to have grown so quickly and so much. And that's due, I think, to purpose-driven, passionate approaches to teaching and learning. And you share in that, you graduates. This is now the fastest growing university and it's due to industry intensive approaches to how we operate. We, we relate to industry, we relate to the professions, and we hope all of our students experience that. The high caliber of students with the talent and work ethic that we experience sit behind the successes that you are now enjoying. We're proud of our new university graduates. We've worked hard to get you to this point and you've worked hard, very, very hard to get yourselves to this point. Today is a time to celebrate. Now, as your careers take you to all parts of Australia, the region, the world, Torrance University remains in your network. You are us, we are you, and our alumni network will remain part of the underpinning of who you are and who you become in the future. So special thanks to our academic and invited participants, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the governing board of Torrens University of Australia, I close today's ceremony. Congratulations and thanks to all.